very special guest here with me today. I'm so excited to introduce to you my beautiful sister-in-law, my brother's wife, Lori. And oh. welcome. <laughs> um, I, I just wanted you to meet Lori and know the, the wonderful lady behind the man <laughs> who got started. Because their story in quilting and their journey through to today has been a long and sometimes very exhausting, hasn't it, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> journey. And so I'm just going to introduce Lori Bagley, and she's going to tell you a little bit about her family and her story. So, Lori. Okay. So Jim got started with uh, making quilting frames because he listened to his mother. <laughs> she worked at a place called Mormon Handicraft uptown in Salt Lake City, Utah, where people would bring items to sell, like a kind of like consignment, but yes. it wasn't really called that. A lot of handicrafts and a lot of really creative things. Well, she said to him, oh, my goodness, we need someone that will design a quilting frame that can work. Um, that will have different ideas and she told him a lot of her own ideas about um, that and he listened to her and he uh, actually he graduated from Brigham Young University in communications but I think what he was born as is an inventor and a designer and someone who's always learning so he started by uh, designing a quilting frame and his mother uh, told him some things about it. He redesigned it. Uh, he got one ready and put it out on the market. And it was a two pole rolling quilting frame. And then from that sprang a three pole when they talked and people gave him ideas and uh, still you were having a lot of trouble with a two pole rolling quilting frame. So he and she um, developed the three pole. Um, I can't remember the year. It's all a blur. Anyway, that was probably the first time that uh, he really saw he had hit on something that was a little different. And from there, he just uh, kept designing, kept designing, started learning how to use uh, computer aided drafting and computer seed, uh, computer um, engineering. Um, he did that on his own um, till he's uh, just become proficient, <laughs> I don't know, pro in, amazingly proficient at what he does with designing. And uh, he's always researching. They're always giving him feedback here at the company. Um, and it's a, it's a great organization of people now that not only is he a designer, he has other people that design, other people that have ideas, and it works together in, a, in, a, in an amazing way. And uh, yeah, we, we love the Grace Company and uh, we love Grace. <laughs> She's not here anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, her heart and her soul is here. So <laughs> yeah, and uh, many family members like her, <laughs> like her sweet daughter Carla. That's yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, most of you don't know that actually Jim got his start and his father-in-law's garage. That's where he set up his first wood shop making quilting frames. And his sweet wife, Lori, and all their beautiful kids have stood by his side helping them. And I remember the kids, they would answer the phone when somebody would call the Grace Company to order a frame. And they've all just been such a big part of helping the company grow. It's been evolving into such a a fantastic place to work and a fantastic place for new innovative ideas in quilting. And I'm just going to let my mask fall down so I could talk. <laughs> um, but um, it's just Lori quickly, just tell them a little bit about your sweet family and, and your kids and, and where Jim is at right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we have 10 children. And when our, uh, our third daughter, Bonnie, was a baby, she got to go with us to the first Houston quilt show we ever attended. Um, so that was quite an experience because none of us, and it was Jim and his mother and me and Bonnie, uh, <laughs> we had never been to a quilt show. So it was quite an experience, an eye-opening experience, and an education, and uh, 
really exciting to see what quilting meant in the whole, you know, in the whole nation. Um, yeah, we have 10 children <laughs> <laughs> and six of them are girls and four of them are boys. And Jim uh, works out, he's in China right now, kind of stuck there. Uh, but his main responsibility is to make sure that the Grace Company can flow smoothly. And it's a little bit hard to get in and out of China right now. Okay, it's impossible to get in and out. <laughs> so he's chosen to stay in for those type of items that need to be uh, watched over in China. So that's where he is. Yeah. Yeah, and we appreciate the sacrifice because it is a huge sacrifice for my sweet sister and and for her to be home alone with dealing with all her kids and this company. And she is amazing. If you don't know it, she just she's right up there at the top of the angelic sainthood no, no. category. <laughs> no. <laughs> and and so I just wanted you to meet and meet her and. Are we ready to jump into the quilts? Because yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we could keep talking, Nathan. Okay. And Lori is has a couple of frames at home. Are we able to get them set up yet? I've got one completely set up, okay. and then we've got another one. Um, I'm going to be learning about the computer with the help of my children because <laughs> computer is not um, something I'm easy with. So I want to learn how to do the computer. Uh, generated uh, quilting uh, process so that's gonna be really exciting the kids are really excited about that because that interests them more than the um, free moving one I'm more comfortable with the free moving one so although they're yeah. very talented and they're very artistic and so I have a feeling that when they get a free motion one set up as well that they'll be very excited about that um, and what did you think about all the wonderful quilts? Oh, it was, was it amazing? Yeah, it was too amazing. I had to split them up um, and just look at a few every night. Did you? And then I would just jot down ideas because Carla just said, just pick out the ones that jump out at you the most because this is just a fun prize that you're going to give. Just, you know, something that just, uh, you know, pops out and your mind can think about it, even though you're looking at all these other ones too. And that was almost, I mean, that was impossible. There was like... Yeah, it was just amazing. It's amazing, and I, I uh, am really, I just say thank you for sharing your talents. And uh, beautiful, beautiful artists are out there making uh, beautiful quilts. And fun, and fun ideas are out there. Um, you know, if you want to be a very serious artist, <laughs> to uh, just a fun, um, you know, just let's do the free flow machine on some fabric that we love. There were some of those too, and wow. I'm just, uh, yeah, I, lo I love it. Was it was pretty amazing, it. wasn't it? Yeah. How many? Yeah. And, and some submitted more than one quilt, and thank you for that. Um, also, just the broad variety. I, you know, no two quilts were exactly alike. They each had their own personality, their own spin, their own take. It may have been a nine patch, but it was a different nine patch every time you saw one. Or it was a different applique every time you saw one. It just wasn't the same. And... It's over 2,000 quilts, so better than Houston because you had so much fun. And you could scroll through them, read the stories inside the comfort of your own home. And that was really nice as well. Oh, yes. Yes. So what jumped out at you the most? Which category did you really appreciate um, as you were scrolling through them? That's that's too hard of a question. <laughs> yeah. Each each category was in a uh, They were fun experience. categories, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. Uh, the one I chose, though, was out of the Hall of Shame. Okay. Yeah. And what drew okay. you to that category? Um, it was just really fun to see how people were attempting or not finishing, or they brought out an item that's 15 years ago that they had <laughs> almost finished, and now they wanted to finish it. And uh, some of them were finished and they had that story attached like, oh, 10 years ago yeah. I started this and I'm just, you know, putting it in here because, you know, it was 10 years old. Uh, but um, that was really fun because see, I'm not a, I'm not proficient in quilting like um, everybody else is. Oh, yeah. I just it's just fun. It's just fun for me. So maybe that was the area that caught my eye the most because. It inspired me to mm -hmm. see people that just were okay. Okay, five years old, five years ago, I put it away, and now I'm getting it back out again. That sounds like me. <laughs> yeah. So there were those, and that was inspiring. Um, I 
yeah, that's where I picked it out from. It's just, uh, yes, that's the, that's the okay. area that I picked out. The All right, the well, it looks like Nathan is ready to go, and so we'll turn the time over to Nathan really quick. You know, I can't see that note, don't you? Huh? She just was showing me a note, and I... <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're, we're here. We're excited. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Lori and Carla, for, for joining with us. We we're excited to talk about part of what we're going to be discussing here um, over the next uh, about an hour with everybody who's here. So, Lori, it's great and wonderful to hear your story. Um, you know, Lori in, in with with her life and everything else that's going on, we don't get to see her too often. So it's wonderful to be able to see you. Thanks for being able to come in and join us today. Uh, thank you, Carla. Those are some great questions to help us kind of get to understand a little bit more about some of the history with Grace Company. And again, we would encourage you if um, you know, you're know you looking to find out more about that, we have our history and some more of those details on our website at graceframe.com. So we're going to encourage you to go there as well. Um, one thing I thought we would do before we kind of get in, we're in this exciting hour. So those people who are joining us, we are going to be announcing the winners of the quilt festival contest with the quilts and the votes that are behind those and so we're really excited to announce those and one of the reasons we also wanted to have Lori here is our founders award we're doing an additional award that we'll announce at the end uh, with that winner as well so we're just really excited to again to have her here we're excited to review the quilts what we're looking to do again is to have participation from the audience um, and everybody who's joining in with us um, re regarding what that is so um, again we're excited to be a part of this what I would ask and invite those people who are streaming please feel free we're going to hopefully be able to grab some of the comments that you will be making um, in conjunction of us going down uh, through this piece here so we're again wanting to encourage you make a comment post a comment post a question um, we're looking we have some other individuals here at grace company online to help answer some of those other random questions that come out um, and i'm seeing a lot of people i see people saying fingers crossed because this is this is the time where we're going to be again announcing um, so what i thought we would do is kind of bring this back to the beginning and let you know one is some stats we're super excited to have had all of the participation um, earlier on today um, you might have missed it and i think it would be wise for me to share again with everybody what's going on so let me pull up my stats that we had from earlier on today um, regarding how wonderful the participation is and then i'll share some of those details with everybody here online give me just a minute here um, here we go so um, again thank you for your participation we have enjoyed looking i know that you mentioned and you heard um carla sharing a little bit about her story Lori sharing a little bit about her story and looking and viewing these quilts i'm pretty sure if we were to ask you right now uh any of you have a favorite quilt you're going to have a comment you're going to love to share with us and we're going to encourage you to do so but with that we have had um the amount of quilts that have been submitted we've had just over 2200 quilts that had been submitted by you the participants so thank you very much for that submission. That's, a, that's an amazing, that's an overwhelming amount of quilts that we've had as far as a participant on that. So that's been, been a wonderful thing to see. Um, and I think we've had that from just over 1,100 different individuals. So it looks like they're about an average of two per individual. So a lot of different people from a lot of different places submitting their quilts, looking for a chance to win um, with what that is. And so how this was done, and I think if you go to the site here, when we're done with part of the streaming today, you'll see that we've un uh, locked the votes and so they're visible I believe on the site as well so that you can actually see who is uh, and what those votes have been for your quilts you have been able to see the comments all along so I'm going to encourage you to continue to provide comments if you have those for the group um, and then what we did is we really just took by votes um, are how these winners are going to be presented so with that I also Lori I know that this is a little bit different from me if you look to your left there's a will there right there to your left and uh, I think I want to start this off. Now, normally Mark's there, and we have Mark help us give us a spin. And what I would like to do is we're going to, going to go to Carla here for a second. And Carla, to start off part of the giving, uh, the giving that we have for the live viewers are for those people in the lower 48 states, the contiguous 48, for the live presentation, meaning what we're going to give away. I would like to choose a couple winners to send out some gifts and a few things with. Um, Oh, okay. So, oh, so, so no, I, I, okay. uh, I, I, oh, so I think we're going to be good. So I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some of these awards, but what I'd like to do um, with part of what this is and maybe uh, Carla and um, 
and Lori over there, one of the questions that's happening is some of our viewers are mentioning that the masks are potentially making that a little hard of hearing. Um, I guess I, I don't know if you want to scoot a little bit farther away. Um, I'm not saying that we need to take them off. So I don't think if you, you feel comfortable, I don't feel like we ought to do that. It is for you to choose. So, so I'm thinking you can leave them on. Um, and I apologize for that. I know these are, are interesting times. Um, I, I know Carla is, is an open individual who <laughs> is, is open to her, her own safety rules. So please uh, under, understand that. I'm going to ask if, if there is, and Lori, if you would like to leave that on, please, please do so um, with what that would be. We'll just ask you to both speak up a little bit for some clarity as we review some of these things. But Carla, I'm gonna ask you a question not ask you a question. I want you to come up with a question. That's what I'm looking for so that we can do some spin the wheels. And what we'll do is I'll kind of put my, my mic down here a little bit so that we can hear your question to the audience. And what would be the question we would pose to the audience here? Whose birthday it is today? If you have been watching, you will know whose birthday it is today. And I'm hoping everybody remembers. He's kind of in front of the circle quilt. <laughs> so, Carla, I'll come back really quick and I'll say, who in this room's birthday okay, is Okay, who in this room? Because I'm guessing if I were to do a Google search, there's a ridiculous amount of birthdays. <laughs> so, All right. So we'll, we'll bring that back. And uh, we're going to go again. Who we're going to look at Facebook and YouTube here. Who is live on stream? Whose birthday is it today? And there are all sorts of them. By the way, thank you. Thank you. The answers are correct. It is my, wait, wait, my birthday today. Here you go from, from my daughter. Now, by the way, my daughter is not 10. She's not seven. She turned 19 yesterday. She has a day before me. And this is her gift to me, by the way. <laughs> He's got his spidey so, senses going. <laughs> and, and my Spider-Man watch, by the way. Oh, by the way, it is touch sensitive. Boop, beep. There we go. So uh, thank you, my daughter, LJ, for my wonderful presence and my gifts uh, to the entire world here with my streaming bits on my uh, my disguise. And everybody was saying it was matching. My, my shirt looks a little washed out. It's just the same color as Carla's. So it yeah. is red in my costume <laughs> with my glasses. So it is my birthday today. So I'm going to go stream back up here. And we're going to poll winner one and winner two. And that came through like 100 miles an hour. So thank you, everybody. We love that so many people are streaming with us today. Um, okay. Not yet. Just nice. a second. Going here. Here we go. Up to the line. Right, we can't we're see it down. on the screen. So can you see this? Can you see this winner here? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. So first winner we have is Sally. Kuros is what I want to say. Kuros is the way I would like to pronounce it. So I want to say congratulations. Yay! Now the question is, is what is she going to win? Lori, we're going to ask you to spin the wheel and then read to us. What is the prize that Sally's going to get? A triangle oh, wow. ruler. Which one does it say? You said triangle ruler? All right, we're going to up the ante as Mark is here with us. Normally what we like to do, Lori, just so you know, is we're going to take it from just a triangle. We're going to give her uh, two of our most popular triangle rulers, which is our 24 and a half by six and a half, our long ruler, which is the most common and popular for uh, quilters out there. And then we're going to give her our 12 and a half by six and a half. So we're going to up that to a two ruler combo. Sally, with that, it's part of the true cut line, making cutting easier, safer, and more accurate. Um, we don't have a whole lot. I'm not going to spend a lot of time because I want to get into quilts, but they have a raised edge. They're incredibly durable, special holes for holding. There's a wonderful bit of what those quilter quilting rulers do that make cutting an easier, safer, more accurate experience. So uh, we'll go ahead and take note of that. Sally, what I will ask is, um, as a person who's participating with this, you'll need to email sales, S-A-L-E-S. -E Again, that's sales at graceframe.com in order to receive uh, and uh, get us some details about how we can get that shipped out to you. So Sally was the first, and here is the first, um, that was the first YouTuber. This is the first Facebook that also had this. We had Stacy Laird Sundgren as a winner. So congratulations, Stacy, with what this is. Uh, you can spin it for her. Spin it again. Go ahead and spin it for her. And then read off what that says. Square ruler. <laughs> Square ruler. Okay. So what we're going to do on this is we're going to up the ante to 
a set of three of our squared rulers, and that's a 12 and a half by 12 and a half, a nine and a half by nine and a half, and a six and a half by six and a half. And so, Stacy, with that, we're going to encourage you again to email sales at graceframe.com to be able to receive your reward again as a winner here. Um, so again, thank you for participating. It looks like we're continuously increasing the amount of people that are streaming with us. If you're joining us now, uh, thank you very much. I will do a last shout out, Carla. Let me go ahead and kind of bring up my my screen here so everybody can see we are going to be drying the large one here probably uh let me look at my calendar we're going to be doing that around uh the three o'clock hour today so if you have not entered your name please do so by going to graceframe.com you can click on the fall festival banner that shows right up top right on that top right corner there is an opportunity for you to click the enter to win. So that is a, a, an easy way for you to go and still get your name in if you have not already registered to win um, this big prize that we're going to be giving away during the three, the 2.30 to 3, 3.30 hour. Uh, so I wanted to bring that out for everybody as well. Um, one last thing I thought I would kind of share again as we look at giving away a few um, and recognizing the award winners for quilts is what I wanted to let you know is again that this was done by selection of you, the audience, those who have submitted, um, you have had a chance to send links to invite them, viewers who have had a chance to come to the site, um, you've had a chance to click vote and we really looked at just a tally of votes and those votes are the winners. We did also have, we have um, two other grand prize winners. One, uh, Lori here um, with us, Lori Bagley is here and we're doing one called the Founders Award. We'll announce towards the end. That is a $500 cash award that we're going to be presenting that person. We also had just a random, anybody who entered a quilt had a chance. And so just quickly how that one was selected, literally we have all those total list of submit sub people who have submitted them in a randomizer. And we had a chance just it randomly selects an individual. We'll announce that $500 a dollar award winner as well. So anybody who had a chance to uh, submit a quilt. So I thought I'd kind of share with you how some of those things came to be as we go through and as we look part of this. So with that, I am going to go ahead and, and Lori and Carla, as you can see this, what I'd like to do is bring up a winner. We'll just talk briefly about what that is and some of the thoughts that you have. And I'm going to kind of do this in category. We'll look at the category. We're going to talk about the third place, the second place, and the first place winner. Um, as we do that, I also will just mention and talk about what the votes were, the total number of votes for those people. So we're, we're excited. We're getting ready here. I'm, I'm going to bring up our screen. So I have the two of you on the side and we're going to bring this up so that we can see that. There we go. And uh, let me go ahead and um, pull up our first winner. And this first winner is in the in blood, blood, sweats, sweats and, and tears tear category. And this is our third place winner. So let me go ahead and bring big that one. up. Oh, wow. Beautiful. That's beautiful. She did a wonderful job. Carla, what I would ask is, I'm not sure, can you, by chance, are those comments large enough at all for you to see? I'm, yep. I know they're Sorry. on the screen. Maybe you can go ahead and um, I'm sure if you can see those to read through any of those for us. As we... I agree. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. And you are very talented. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, it is beautiful work. And also comments, amazing, stunning. Um, looks like beautiful painting. That's a real compliment. Um, gorgeous, um, beautiful, very talented, breathtaking. That's a really good. <laughs> it is. You did an absolutely beautiful job, and your quilting is fantastic. It really makes that panel pop. Um, the quilting just enhances it so much. So it's Judy. Is that her name? Yeah, that's correct. It's Judy Delay. Yeah, is what it's I'd a big, big panel, and how she quilted it's just, it is. It is absolutely beautiful work. With that, Let me come back quickly here and just say again, as a, as a recap, as part of these award winners, um, what I'd like to do is let me just show you this as part of the quilt festival. So this is the third prize in this category. Here's what we're giving away. The third prize winner is getting a $25 cash award. Second prize is 50. First prize is that $100 piece. And then again, we just did a randomizer for uh, an overall winner. So this is what we're doing. So again, we're going to go ahead and we'll bring up congratulations to uh, Judy DeLay. She's winning the third place. Um, Underneath the category, blood, sweat, and tears. 
we're going to go ahead and announce winner number two, what we have in the same category, and that is Every Bloom created by Sharon Wagner. And then, Carla, again, maybe you can go ahead. Again, Sharon Wagner, congratulations. Right, the top, they say it's a gorgeous quilt. I agree, and it's stunning, beautiful. This is absolutely stunning in person. Somebody's actually seen it. it it's gorgeous. Um, very pretty. Um, just wow. All the time that you took to applique each of these and love the colors. I love how the black makes the colors pop. It is beautiful. Um, says, I had to do something with my hands. Oh, well, you did a good job. While waiting in the doctor's offices, uh, hospitals traveling to and from the doctors. This took a year and was finished finally when husband was better. So it sounds like her husband was going through some complications. And I agree that applique is a good thing to work on when you're waiting in the doctor's offices. So thank you for sharing your talent. It is beautiful. And congratulations. And that was from Sharon Wagner. Great. Wonderful. Um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead. Give me just a minute. I want to close out this last one so we don't don't get too far. I have a million quilts out here as far as the winners are concerned. So thanks for being patient with us. Again, please throw in your, your comments on the side if you um, are, are, are wanting to bring those up again. A lot of the same of you are saying the same thing. Wow. Congratulations. Beautifully done. Um, again, congratulations, Sharon, on this. So now we have our main winner in this category. And here we go. In this particular category, it was Quilt for My Mom is the number one first place here in this blood, sweat, and tear category. So, Carla, maybe you can read a few of those comments. Says, this is incredible. Don't go too fast. Oh, I missed oh, that. sorry. There you go. There's the top one. This is incredible. If I ever get to see this quilt in person, I would certainly be impressed. It's amazing. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. She will always treasure it. And it's called The Quilt for Mom. Um, it's a king size quilt um, that she made for her mother. And it has the beautiful colors. And, and she, I was working full time. And she gave birth to her second children during this time. And she earned her master's degree. So not only is she talented <laughs> in quilting, but she is talented as well in the education. So, wow. A very busy woman and very, very talented. It is beautiful. Love the colors. And who made this, Nathan? Can you scroll down just a little bit? And it's Courtney, is it Beckett? Yeah, beautiful. Nice job and congratulations, first place. Again, congratulations, Courtney Beckett. We appreciate your willingness to submit your beautiful quilt. And thank you to those people who participated in the voting for part of what this is. So it's been fun to see all that in there. Uh, Laura, any thoughts in, in general as you've kind of seen part of what this was? This is our category we we're looking at, which was blood, sweat, and tears um, as, as they went through this. It just beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, that was one of the most amazing sections that I got to look at for the quilting. Wow. Wow. And then the stories make me even go... It's just, it's, it's almost too much to take into yeah. my brain. Wow, these people have a talent. And Wonderful. Well, great. Thank you very much. Uh, with that, we're going to go into our next section, our next category of winners. Um, the next category I have coming up is the Hall of Shame. And we're going to look at the three winners. We're going to look at the third place, then the second, then the first place winner in the Hall of Shame. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and introduce third place. Third place in the Hall of Shame is a hand sewn by my Cherokee. Um, my, my Cherokee says great grandmother. So it looks like a hand sewn uh, quilt by, uh, my Cherokee grandmother by Ella Bly. And with this one, uh, congratulations, third place, third place in this category. Again, this is the category of hall of shames with that, uh, Carla, maybe you can go ahead and read and share a little bit more on the bottom with us there. Okay. She says that this quilt top is completely hand stitched and peace. Wow. Love that. And um, together by my Cherokee great-grandmother. I have wanted to finish it, sorry, we're a little far away, for many years, but I do not have the fabric from that same time. 
um, to do it justice. I think it belongs in a museum, and you're probably right. Uh, that is just a wonderful story. Um, and thank you for sharing it with us, because the stories, you know, I love a good story, and this is a great one, means a lot. And that it was hand-pieced and, and quilted by your great-grandmother, that is fantastic. So congratulations again, uh, Ella Bly. And what I would say is we would wish you uh, a, a good journey in trying to find a fabric if you thought you could find something to match that back if you decide to get to that spot. So I know that always can be a little bit of a challenge, but maybe you can do uh, something from that traditional with that hand and there might be a way for you to look at uh, what might go on the back of that to finish that out. So again, uh, congratulations, Ella Bly, from the votes that came through on this one. Um, I, I forgot, let me quickly, before I get through this, I, before I get too far into these other sections, um, I neglected to share with you on the first, the second and third place on the blood, sweat and tear category. So let me come back to that really quick. We had a first place winner. The total votes were 191 and that was for Courtney Beckett again. So I apologize for not talking about the total votes. Again, we'll look at making sure those are unlocked so everybody can see. Uh, we had 163 as a second place previously for that every every blooming uh, with Sharon Wagner. And we had a third place with 154 votes on that previous category, blood, sweat, and tears with Judy Delay, or Delay is what I, I think we would say on that one. Again, we're moving into this category now, which is the Hall of Shame. And uh, we just had a hand sewn by my Cherokee grandmother, Ella Bly is the winner. And we have 105 on this one, Carla. Um, I'll go ahead and pull up the next quilt, second place. Um, we have 110. So this looks like it was pretty close between second and uh, third place, uh, third third and second. So here's our second place. And I'll go ahead and let you share a little bit about this one with us, Carla. Ooh, a feathered star, one of my ones way back when. Love it. It's awesome, so pretty, beautiful. Um, love the colors. Um, they love the colors. They think it's gorgeous, it's exquisite, and it's an 1800s replica fabric. So, wow. And look at it. Just... That is not an easy one to piece. I have to say, I have tried. <laughs> I have succeeded finally, but it was one of my, when I started quilting, that was one of those designs that I really wanted to jump in and try. And I was not successful when I was younger. So congratulations, Susie, is it Banfield? Banfield, yep, Susie Banfield. Yeah, congratulations, so gorgeous. Congratulations on that one, Susie Banfield. So wonderful. We'll be getting in contact with these winners again. We do have your contact. So know to be looking for that hero. Probably happening happening first part of next week as we're streaming live all day today. But again, these were close again. This is the second and third. We only had a five vote difference on this one. So congratulations. Second place, Feathered Star by uh, Susie Banfield with that 1800s replica. All right, time for first place. This one had by a long shot, uh, a quite a difference in the total votes. The quilt we're going to look at next had 437 oh, votes. Wow. And by the way, I'm looking at all of the quilts. This one, I think, uh, had the most out of all quilts uh, that were submitted um, as far as people voting for this one. So this one's going to be first place. Remember, Hall of Shame, partially unfinished projects. And so this one, um, I'm going to go ahead and bring up our winner. So give me a minute here as we bring them up. So again, this was the previous. This is spot number two and this is first place oh, in this category i love this one too so this is awesome they love this it's awesome just exactly what i said um they say her name is Lori shepherd um so they say Lori, um it, that is awesome love this wow looks amazing love it a gadget quilt is what that somebody called it and then she says she's using her husband official uniform shirt. <laughs> I made the quilt top to keep me warm when he was traveling to the races. Next best thing to having him beside me is being wrapped in his old shirt. Oh, I love this story. It's so great. <laughs> Congratulations, Lori. Well deserved. Well deserved. <laughs> 
Yeah, with that again, thanks again, everybody for participating in this one. Um, I, I'm, I'm wanting to say maybe this is because uh, obviously there's this personal story behind this. Um, it's her husband's shirts, which is amazing. That's that's pretty cool and very unique. But I'm just wondering, maybe we're saying that we have a really high percentage of NASCAR fans in the clothing series. I don't know. That's a lot of votes for that. So I'm I'm going to say there's a, something to say with that. So. <laughs> I, I've never been to a live one. I've been to a couple here in Utah. We don't have a big track, and I know it's pretty darn exciting. So uh, congratulations, first place, Lori Shepard on uh, winning this with the NASCAR on the final lap. So wonderful. Let's go ahead and look at our next category here as I prep to bring that up. And our next category we're going to look at is the Wild Imagination. And here we go. This will be for third place in Wild Imagination is Diag Diagonal Delight by Ella Bly. So Ella Bly's had a second submission. And congratulations with the votes on this one. Wow, ahead, too. That's fantastic. <laughs> it is really, really cute. And I love the imagination that goes into it. It's probably one of my favorite categories. It says this diagonal minky, which I... I can appreciate, was made using the quilt as you go batting. Um, I felt it needed more of the blue, so I added the strip and made it a double border. I think it turned out great and so soft. I agree. You could kind of see a little handprint in it because with the minky, you love to take your hand and slide it across because it's so nice and so soft. Did she quilt around the handprint or just someone touched uh, it? I don't know. It just <laughs> looks like there's a little handprint in there. Uh, with it, I'll, I'll tell my quick story. Um, and it has to deal with shag minky. And I know, Carly, you have a project you're going to share with us a little bit with minky. So my wife, a few years back, was like, hey, what do you want for your birthday? And I am thinking like, hmm, I'm feeling like, yeah, I want this big, I want to make this big blanket that we can use for chilling when we have a kind of a uh, an area, a lounge where we have and watch videos and our movies. And so she bought me uh, this brown, thick, like shag long minky. And it's the size of like a, like a large king size. And it actually drapes about a foot and a half down and it covers the full thing. So this is an enormous, enormous quilt. And I used flannel. So it has a brown shag minky on the back. And on the top, it has an orange brown and kind of a vanilla flannel on the top. And I call it my man quilt because I went and I um, created the design of one of my favorite cars, which is uh, a current uh, ZL1 Chevy Camaro, and I did that through an automation, and they're about 50 inches wide by about 20 inches tall, and I quilted six of those down the front of it, and then I did stippling in between it, so that's my man quilt I made, and that thing weighs <laughs> like 500 pounds with it, all that minky and everything, so. They do get uh, heavy. <laughs> so, it's a therapy quilt now. <laughs> Yeah, my therapy when I don't want to move it. At night, <laughs> and I the stick neck. So, but but again, love love having that minky. It's a fun fabric to be working with. A little bit more challenging to try to quilt on a frame though. So, congratulations yeah. on quilting this one. However you're doing it, it's not an easy fabric to quilt with. So, um, our, we're gonna go ahead and look at. Uh, oh, let me quickly talk about it. So this one, um, she had a total of 90 votes. We're gonna move to second place nice with 100, 113 votes for this next winner up. Let's go ahead and pull this up as winner up number two. And then, Carla, if I can have you read the winner's name and then tell us a little bit about that when I pull it up. Okay. Oh, it <laughs> love. It says, Stand Tall and Wear a Crown. It's created by Becky D. Jones and it's pineapples. I love a good pineapple. <laughs> this is very nice. Um, some fine work right there. It looks great, girl. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful, good work, beautiful. And she said she made this 10 years ago uh, for her 10 year old niece, sorry, who loves pineapples. So it's absolutely adorable. Love it. So much fun. I love the personality involved as well. So she made it for her 10 year old granddaughter? Her 10 year old niece. 10 year old niece, not 10 years ago. No, not 10 okay. years ago. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, she I made like, it ten, like for a 10 year old back. niece who loves pineapples. Yeah. Very cute. And With congratulations. That yeah, congratulations again, Becky D. Jones, uh, winning second place again with 113 votes on this one. Stand tall and wear a crown. And uh, that's an interesting um, title, I think, for part of what that is. And Carla, I, I'm just going to say, if you haven't seen Carla's trunk show, I would encourage you to go to, go and, and rewatch it again. And Carla, you do love some pineapples. She had a couple of just beautiful quilts that she had done. 
um, with some different sizes and a fun way and some fun spins on part of what that is. So again, I'm gonna give everybody a challenge here as they're watching part of, of this award ceremony here with some of these winners um, I, to go back and also look at some of the other things that have uh, transpired here earlier in our streaming events. It's It's been a lot of fun seeing all those. So um, congratulations. We're gonna move into the first place. This first place winner had 148. Um, oh, votes on this bad. one in this category. Um, still, again, we're in the area in the category of wild imaginations. And let me go ahead, Carla, and pull up the first place. And if you'd mind doing the same thing, that works fantastic. Okay. So. Oh, I only have eyes for you. <laughs> Very cute. And it's by Tracy Vaughn. Very creative and excellent quilting. Uh, the comments is one of the comments. Great quilt, great imagination and skill. Most fun quilt ever. It's amazing. And she says, this quilt was made for my friend's grandson. My friend's son is an optimist. Is that what it is? So when I found this pattern um, with, oh, an optometrist. Okay. <laughs> he might be a very optimistic <laughs> optometrist. Sorry. <laughs> I, and I probably, you're probably saying, oh, she needs to go see one right away. <laughs> it's just too far away. <laughs> that is just far right. away. Well, I do. So, so when I found this pattern with glasses, um, it seemed um, appropriate. The glasses on each of the animal made um, are made with metallic thread, and we all know that a metallic thread is a challenge, is what she says. So you have to zoom in to see the texture on it, but it is, it is so adorable, and it is very, very cute and very imaginative. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I only have eyes for you. Very cute. <laughs> Wonderful. Congratulations, Tracy Vaughn, I'll again. Forward. <laughs> <laughs> in part of our category, Wild Imagination. So uh, wonderful, and, and congratulations on, on the win with this one. So um, fun, great with, with this particular category. We're going to be moving next into part of the holiday quilts. We have Made from Scrap. We also have our surprise and our oops here that we'll kind of finish off part of this with. Uh, with that, Carl, I'm going to take another uh, minute or two here if you're okay. I want to kind of make sure that these are all lined up correctly. Um, maybe if I could kind of bring this back to you and Lori um, with a, a quick bit of, of information and have you share uh, on, on the other side. Lori, I know that there's probably several things that, that happen that – um, come back in, in into the home when your husband's running 100 miles an hour. You talked about how he moved into this, you know, he has this amazing engineering mind. Um, maybe you can share some of the the pluses and then some of the challenges of, of having a guy that his mind is all over the place all the time. I'm curious to hear that a little bit. So. Yes, tell us, Lori. <laughs> Um, well, it's really, it's fun, actually, because life is never boring when he's around. Um, and he always sees what's possible. Um, and it's good that there's some people here at the company that can give him the feedback he needs to keep him grounded. Um, so that's what's fun is seeing the teamwork. And, and it's also fun when he, someone gives him an idea and says, what can we do? You know, what can we do with this idea that I've had? And then it's the opposite way. He can use his creativity and bring those apart, uh, those things about. And uh, there's a lot of feedback that goes on here. Uh, between designers and um, utilitarian type of ideas too, because it's got to work. It's got to be able to be uh, used. Yes. Um, so that that's fun. That's an exciting part about it. Uh, it's not fun when he's not here for long periods of time. <laughs> um, like Tell now. him how long he's been gone. He's been gone he's a been, long time. He's been gone almost ten months. Yeah. No, 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 nine months. Yeah, nine months. Uh, caught, he caught. He got there just before Corona. So then Corona happened in China. Yeah, and it was uh, an experience for him to see. Then it came here. <laughs> so it's been a worldwide, pro well, worldwide, worldwide problem. Uh, but a great thing about quilting is uh, you can uh, sew, you can uh, create, and you can do it from your home. And so, it's been, you know, it's been a curse. Yeah. For part of the business, but it has also been a little bit of a blessing because it has helped maintain the business and keep us going. And my sweet brother in China has been able to keep things going over there. And, and we just appreciate 
the love and the sacrifice. And well, he's, he loves the Grace Company. Well, yeah. we he love does. Lori. He's a, I mean, he's, he's a create. He he loves that it's a creative place that he can he, he, do things right. like. But he has a sweet, very patient wife. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, she is very, very patient and. Um, Right now, she's doing a lot of running around, running here and there with the kids. Um, and she's got grandkids, and she's just like Superwoman. And <laughs> no, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, but it's been nice that we can run around a little bit more now, though. Yes, it has That's been. That's been nice. Getting out and mm -hmm. running around it has made it a lot nicer. So, yeah. And are we almost ready, Nathan? Yep, we're ready. Okay, great. I'm sitting forward so I can read better. <laughs> Thank you, Carla. And I, I, I probably should tell everybody who's who's watching this, you know, we always have to have strategies on, on the best way to help facilitate for those people who are here in the studio. And uh, obviously, you know, earlier we had the panel and so people who are visiting. Um, and so we have a screen and I'm, I'm asking her to read off of a, a, a fairly small screen. So, <laughs> so thank you very much with that. So uh, with that being the case, I'm going to go ahead and bring up again um, my screen here. And uh, let me go ahead and get off this one so we, we can announce this winner here. Um, we're going to go ahead and add this back to the stream. So again, the next category we're going to look at here is going to be the holiday quilts. And let me just bring in some quick statistics again, some of the things regarding the holiday quilts. We had several people again voting uh, for several uh, of the quilts within here. We have a third place winner with 90 votes on the frame on the quilt we're going to show you. Then we had 113. And then we had our first place in our um, uh, sorry, sorry. In our holiday section, we have a 68 for our lowest voting. We had an 89, then 173. So it looks like there was a fairly big difference between that second and our first place. But with that, we're going to go ahead and bring up our winner, our third place winner under our holiday quilts. And we have that winner is a winner called Patriotic Lone Star by Ooh. Nell Summerline. So Carla, maybe you can go ahead and share a little bit regarding that with us as well. Okay, can you that. take off um, Chris the soul? Of, I can't read it. Um, it says it's beautiful, very patriotic, so beautiful, very beautiful. And then if you will just take away the her comment, I, then I can read about her, her name and there. there you go. Thank you. Love it. Um, and then Nell Summerlin is her name. Love the colors. It does look very patriotic. Um, and if you scroll down just a little bit, we can read it. It says, patriotic lone star while hanging quilted on my unique 15R. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> With free motion and ruler work. You did an awesome job. Beautiful Absolutely stitched. beautiful. I could tell the stitching on this one. I remember it too, because yeah. sometimes the photograph I'd have to try to bring it up and right. see if I could catch it. it but yeah, this, it's this nice is, to zoom in and see yeah. the stitching. Yeah, just because it's fun to see the design of the back stitching. Your colors are great. Love how you did your um, your your stri stripes in the star. Yeah, makes it really pop. Yes, nice job. So again, congratulations, uh, Nell Summerline. Um, we'll be getting in contact with you again. This is third place in this category. We're going to go ahead and move over to our second uh, place winner in this category. And that one is Sugar Skulls and Halloween, uh, created by Ella Bly. Um, and we can go ahead hey, and Ella, share a little bit more on go. that. Oh, you're rocking it. <laughs> <laughs> this fun ultra soft cuddle fabric quilt is great to use during Halloween and Sugar Skulls setting with its fit. Um, festive mood and yeah. skull setting the festive mood. Sorry, that was kind so of a tongue twister. twister for me. Mm -hmm. Nice job. And it's made, it looks like it's made with the minky fabrics again. So it's very cute, very sweet. Wonderful. Congratulations again, Ella Bly. With this one again, this one had in our holiday section 89 votes. We're now going to move to first place. First place had 173 in this category. Again, holiday quilts. Um, and we're going to go ahead and show the winner here. And our congratulations to our winner in holiday quilts is called Stonehenge Stained Glass Ooh. by Rose Chauvinick, I believe would be how we would pronounce her name. So again, congratulations again, Stonehenge Stained Glass by Rose uh, Chauvinick. Wow, I saw it. What's my word? Wow. 
that's amazing. It's beautiful and uh, beautiful craftsmanship. It does look like stained glass, simply beautiful. Um, so beautiful, breathtaking, amazing, such talent, gorgeous, stunning, gorgeous. Wow, was my word. Um, and it says, it's uh, my nephew was diagnosed with leukemia earlier this year. So I made this quilt for him for Christmas 2019. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, I'm going to continue scrolling. If we look this one, there's been a lot of comments oh, a lot on of this comments. one. So I'm just going to, a lot of the same, you know, a lot of wows and amazings, brilliance. Uh, looks like a, a painting, beautiful, beautiful. Love the colors, um, the design, um, what talent to see, you know, in your mind. And then so, um, you know, until, you know, it says in your mind. And, and so until we see it again, amazing, again, unbelievable. Um, may he be blessed uh, with healings as he is blessed by your beautiful gift. And Carl, that makes me think of Luella, who was yes. one of our uh, individuals that we had a chance to interview. And she does a lot of charity quilts and she's donating those to refugees. And it's it, wonderful to hear the story of what the quilts have done, not only for her, when she received her first gift as a quilt back in as a, as a child and as a youth and then what that means and what she's doing now with that kind of in her life today as well so it's fun and to hear the fabrics, that the colors that you put together just really make it pop you, you've done a fabulous job as we look to here to get to one of our our last and couple areas here with our surprise and made from scraps. Uh, what I thought I would kind of just um, throw out there, Carla, again to both you and Lori. Um, and this has happened to be, a, maybe I'd like to ask this question about grace. And maybe if you would share, and I know this is going to be a hard one to grab a hold of. I'm going to look at getting our next few quilts here. But as as I do that, would you just share if there have been a couple key most memorable times um, when you think about Grace, your mother, um, that stands out to you just in general? And then if there would be anything that would relate to you and quilting, we'd love to hear that. Go ahead. It's too hard to talk about her because yeah. it brings tears. I got to have her live in my home for about 18 months. And I had gotten, I had uh, purchased myself a new puppy uh, while she was there. I thought that that might be fun for the both of us because I always, I, okay, I used her as an excuse to get my little puppy. <laughs> um, and he was like a, he was like a baby. And when I'd have to go take the kids somewhere, she'd take a blanket, she'd take a quilt, whatever was handy, off her bed, and say, "Give me the puppy." She'd wrap him up in the quilt and hold him while I was gone. And when I came back. Um, there would be wrapped up in the quilt. <laughs> and that's one of the, I think it's kind of funny because, you know, she was involved in the quilting company, the Grace Quilting Company, and she would grab a quilt and wrap my puppy up <laughs> and hold him while I was gone with the children. And then she would, yeah, that, that was a special time is to have her in my home. And she's just a, talking about a real angel. That, that woman was, uh, yeah, I miss her. I miss her lots. Yeah, yeah. I do. Um, what I remember most about my sweet mom was she loved family. Um, she loved family gatherings. She loved having her family around her. That also means her Grace family. And she just loved you quilters. And she started going to the shows with Jim and Lori. And she was such a big part of going to the shows. and. And she would hand out her special taffy to all the quilters and tell them, thank you for coming. And my mom was a genuine woman. And you could tell that she was true hearted through and through and just, um, just such an honest, sweet, loving person. And thank goodness that <laughs> She was so patient and so kind. I mean, my dad passed away when I was really quite young. I'm the baby of the, the kids, and my mom was alone for a lot of years. And so her kids and her family was very important to her. And she doted on her family and had just helped each of us in so many ways. It's just hard to express how grateful we are to have had such a wonderful mom and a legacy like we did. Are we good to go, Nathan? <laughs> Sorry, that on. I think we can add some more stories okay, if you want. <laughs> I'll tell you a fun story. Sure. Okay, tell okay, us. Okay, one of the first one of the first times that uh, I met her. Well, it wasn't the first time. 
but at Christmas time, and I don't remember the timeline when this was, and she was working at Mormon Handicraft. Um, she was the one they had dressed up as Mrs. Santa. Yes, they did. And she was the one up there that would, okay, she wasn't the only one. There was lots of sweet ladies that work there. But mm -hmm. she, I went up to see her, and what a special, uh, what a special uh, Mrs. Santa she was because uh, she loved people and uh, you could feel it. She yes. felt like a real Mrs. Santa Claus. And then uh, she got to be my children's um, grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, yeah, that same spirit that she had and she shared with all of it. Oh, they, she'd dress up and she'd give cookies right. to the children that would come there with their mothers and dads to visit, um, you know, up at Christmas time at Temple Square, it's a wonderful time to go up there with all the lights. And across the street is where um, Mormon Handicraft used to be. And uh, yeah, you go over there to see the handicrafts and to buy some gifts for Christmas. And there was uh, Grace Bagley handing out the cookies <laughs> and loving the children that came up to her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was that better was than Santa. Favorite it was better things. than Santa because <laughs> Santa scares children. Mrs. Santa Claus with the cookie that was Grace Bagley does not scare children. No, she loved that job. Yeah, she yeah. loved that job. That was fun for her. Yeah. Well, th thank you. I appreciate those stories. That's um, uh, great to hear. Again, I, I uh, had the fortunate opportunity of having her and seeing her here several for a few of the years um, here at work. And I just remember one of the things always in my mind, Carla, you mentioned how much you love the quilters and it, it was even the understanding and it was, it was about marketing. It was about the product and it was about an experience. And so I just love um, having, having known her and having that experience. And again, even being part of this business, I think that's one of the important things that we really try to continue to move forward is, is part of what that spirit is. And I know one of our key values is experience. And I know that, um, you know, with what Grace had in her mind was, it was the care for those that, that, um, you know, we're, we're in part of what this community was. So it was fun to be able to be a part of. Thanks for sharing those stories with us as well. Um, I'm looking at, uh, we're prepared to go through the remaining bit of our, our winners. The next uh, one of our last two categories is the surprise and oops. And then we also have the made from scraps. So as we look at uh, selecting here and, and working through those winners, we'll at the end talk about the, the random winner that is the $500 cash prize winner. And then Lori, we're going to have, and we'll bring up on the screen, the winner from your quilt as well. Um, and we'll be able to show those two to everybody here all also, so Carl, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up. This is third place from the surprise and oops category. And we have this one by Janice Allen. And I will just quickly, before we get too far on this, this one uh, had a 61 vote. And so Carla, maybe you can go ahead and read a little bit for, every, for all of us. It's not up, I can't. You're, we're all like, hey. <laughs> we're all looking at each other, hey, smiling. Like, <laughs> you you know? look good, Nathan. You look good. <laughs> I, absolutely beautiful, Janice. Love this. And it is beautiful. I love a log cabin. You know that. And it's beautiful, Janice. Great job. Stunning. This is beautiful. I didn't think this was going to be so big. Yes, I agree with you. They have a tendency to grow absolutely stunning it is beautiful i love how you've made the curves it's amazing what you can do with the log cabin design yeah, that that i mean i remember this one this was amazing because you know log cabin is right. very angular but yet yeah, look at this it yeah. has this motion yeah it's just amazing quilting is amazing yeah. because it, you can take things change the colors and then you've got motion right it, yeah this it was is, this it's is beautiful great, yeah. nice job congratulations it's called Swirly Log Cabin. Perfect name for it. Again, congratulations, uh, Janice Allen, on this. And we're going to look now at second place. Second place um, had a total of 145 uh, votes. Sorry, uh, sorry, 72 votes in this category. So we're going to go ahead and pull up this next winner. Um, and the next winner is Fireman T-shirt by Becky Jones. Nice. The comments are beautiful, beautiful. What a wonderful way to give back to the community. Beautiful, awesome. What a wonderful tribute. Okay, this one was for a little girl who sleeps in her daddy's t-shirts and she went and wanted a quilt made from them. Originally, I was going to do a big squares, like simple t-shirt quilt, but the kids of my first responders deserve a little more than that. So I ended up making a, la uh, a ladders, uh, making up ladders on each of them. 
by the end of the patches on the shirts, uh, the shirts and steps, I chose a smoke gray to go with them and trimmed the fire engine in red. So nice job. It is absolutely adorable. This gives such good ideas um, for making t-shirt uh, quilts. Yeah. I've tried some before, just the plain kind. They get too big and they're not interesting. Yeah. This you feel, yeah, this one is uh, a better layout, <laughs> <laughs> you know, for, and it gives you such good ideas about looking at what you're putting together. Yeah, and I like yeah. the ladder, how you yeah. incorporated the ideas of the fire. Yes, and the, and the smoke. Yeah, the smoke gray. Very clever. Okay, thank you very much. With this, we're going to go ahead and bring up the first place in this category. Again, the category surprise, oops. And with that, we have our first place winner called Purple Heart by <laughs> Bill Powell. <laughs> nice job. Love this design. Wow, good job. Love, love, love this quilt. Beautiful. I voted. Made with love. Beautiful artwork, work, beautiful work of art, beautiful quilt. And she said she started making this baby quilt, one and a half inch squares, and didn't like working with small squares, so I changed it to two and a half inch squares. I, I can totally relate with that one. Um, I put it in a drawer for several years, got it out and finished it for my baby's 18th birthday. Congratulations. And, um, Anyway, awesome. the entry from the frame, um, entry form frame cut from the side, cut the sides off. There's more yellow around the heart. It's machine pieced and hand quilted. Wow. Goodness. <laughs> nice job. Congratulations. With that, I'll come back and kind of mention um, this award winner again. The selections, we had about 140, there were 142 people that had voted on this one. One thing I thought that was interesting, again, is, you know, these quilts are always amazing. Um, uh, this is, seems interesting. You know, I, I'm not much uh, of a gentleman who does gaming, um, but I, I see that. I have children who've been in part of that. There's a little bit of a spin on this one. You know, you have a purple heart that could be part of the uh, reward and and one of those challenging things that somebody has, you know, and part of uh, giving service to our country. I also thought it was interesting how it kind of is glowing. I, you know, how she chose the, the color around the purple. And then I also uh, see some pixels too. So it's an interesting layout that to me, potentially would relate to uh, a different type of a demographic often. I think with quilting, one of the the sad things I know is I've continued to uh, understand the love, the passion, the time, and the money that people put into their quilts is, you know, you might just have some say, well, here's a blanket. Well, it's not just a blanket, you know, and that's probably one of those things. And regardless of who receives it, we're, we're excited to give that gift to them. But it's, it's interesting to see how uh, and know the love that goes behind the quilts and the time that goes into the quilts. And um, there's a lot, there's a lot of, of love that goes behind them. So it's fun to be able to admire that and see, uh, you know, different perspectives. So uh, with that, we're going to go ahead again. So this was first place. We're ready for our next category. Next category we have is made from scraps. And with this, we're going to have our third place winner. This is our third place winner, which is called Down the Shore, created by Lorette Crowell. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and bring this up a little bit. I think this is interesting. I think there's a lot of texture in here. A lot. I think it's pretty interesting. So, Carl, I'll go ahead and let you make a few comments and so read some. Thank you so much for the beautiful quilt. Capturing my favorite memories with my girls. Love it. Yes, it does. It just brings out memories by being by the seaside. Oh, what a beautiful piece. I'm sure your sister will cherish it. Um, okay. This is a big one. And so the mixed media art quilt is a birthday and Christmas gift for an older sister who loves the beach. Uh, she has two daughters and is featured and who are featured in the quilt, relaxing in the sand, listening to the waves, enjoying the breeze. Each um, beach, this beach quilt was made with supplies, scrap fabric, and notions that I hand on hand, no money spent. Awesome. And it was a COVID um, quarantine <laughs> creation. <laughs> My son's old frayed jeans created the movement of the frothy waves um, washing up on the satin and pearl strand shores. Beads and buttons made perfect shells, yarn and embroidery, floss became the curly and straight hair, traditional and raj applique, machine piecing, hand sewing, and machine quilting were used. Oh, wow. I love that you incorporated all that. I was a little worried about how long it was because I had to read it, but I'm glad I did because <laughs> I enjoyed it even more because right. you added so much to it. 
So I love the jeans. Very cute. Uh, thank you and congratulations again to Lorette Crowell. Um, I, again, love seeing this. I, this is Carla where I was kind of going that quilting in this process, I, th I think it doesn't have to be what was traditional. I think there's traditional and there's modern and there's art and there's thread painting. And this is another one where there's just different types of mediums and different types of thicknesses and fabrics and different ways of pulling part of, um, uh, like on the denim, she talks about the flow and part of those waves and trying to shift the way that the eye sees part of what that is. And so I think it's just really exciting to to see again uh, as this continues to expand and, and change. I think it's changing and the demographics that are getting involved are also getting much wider. You know, I always talk about about trying to lower that entry level, you know, how do we get somebody into this quilting, you know, even if they're at home, uh, you know, with her mom, what about the 25 to 35s? What about the 35 to 45s, 45 to 55s? You know, how do we help engage them with part of what is this this amazing um, hobby that people can, can engage with? So uh, again, so this one here we had, I guess I'll come back and just re-clarify. So this one again is uh, by Lorette Crow. And let me just tell you the votes again on this. So Lorette Crow, um, we had a total of 84. Next we have second place with 145. So we have our second place winner. Let me go ahead and bring that up. And Carl, if you could share some details about this one called Grizzly Bear College Quilt uh, by Jan Hansen. Nice job, Jan. We actually know a Jan Hansen. <laughs> Congratulations. She did. We've actually seen this one in person and she did an awesome job. Um, I got to see it when it was, and when she's finishing it, so beautiful. This is awesome. That is amazing. It really is. Um, this quilt was made from thousands of small pieces of fabric. Each value um, from dark to light requires a variety of um, various fabrics. I was able to use leftover scraps. Awesome. Uh, through the project. Um, purchased just um, a few fabrics for the project. I estimated about 75 to 80 different fabrics were used. Um, and then the final quilting was done so that each piece is stitched um, to the batting and backing. The quilt is washable and sustainable as a hanging. So nice job. Wow. Yeah, I know it took her a while too. So yeah. she did an excellent job. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. Again, it's it's amazing. This is uh, like a portrait, like a drawing. It's art uh, to me is what it looks like with this bear. And that's a lot of fabrics. What was it? 70, 75 to 80 uh, yeah, different types of 80 different fabric colors and, and they shades are two in order to do that. Tiny pieces too. So again, congratulations, uh, Jan Hansen on this one. We're going to go ahead and now move to our first place in this category. First place winner, just a few votes more. We went from 145, first place is 151. And here we go, introducing the first place winner in our category of uh, made from scrap is African Queens by- I love this one too. Yeah. Nice job, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Such creativity, I agree. Um, what talented piece of artwork. Um, stunning queens, astonishing in its depth and representation. Beautiful work, such talent, so beautiful. Wow. Or just some of the comments. Um, this African queen, it's African queen black. Block. Block, sorry. No, the only <laughs> one word block. No, that's the only <laughs> one word that I can tell it's block. Because I remember this one. It's an ideal way to make use of the African print um, fabric scraps. I saw the picture of block on on black. Is it black right now? Well, no, no I can't see where you are. <laughs> FB group and Pinterest without instructions on how to make the block. I de decided to size... Um, Decided the size I wanted and finished uh, for the finished block and did the math to create the quilt. That's, I remember that. Did the math. <laughs> That's where I was. Awesome. Call I love that you took <laughs> what you saw and put your own spin on it. Yeah. That I love that. Right. Absolutely beautiful. And I love the colors. The fabrics yeah. are so unique. Yeah, it really pops out. 
with that, I thought I would kind of come back. You know, I said I saw this picture um, of the block on Black Girls Quilt Facebook group is what oh, that okay. was. So that's the Black Girls Quilt Facebook group and then Pinterest. Now, here's one of the sad things she said at the bottom. She said, I made this quilt to enter into a 2020 quilt show, Scrap Challenge. But unfortunately, the show was canceled, which we know has been happening uh, quite a bit throughout this year. And we're hoping uh, we know the first part of next year is kind of starting off that way. So we hope we can continue to provide great content and and you know an inspiration to those quilters that are out there so wonderful so this is again the the first place winner in this category congratulations Sa sakina is what i would say is that first name maba maba sheer nice is what i tried to say there so congratulations with that carla we're ready to move to our last two pieces one is the random drawing so i'd like to go ahead and announce that and then we'll finish Lori, with yours the founders award is part of what this is Highlight. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, uh, good. <laughs> that, that's why we have the great pr privilege of having you here with us today. So thank you so much and being, being willing to come and participate. Thank you. Thank you for putting up with me. <laughs> All right. All right. With that again on this winner, this one was randomized. So this is based on and was just chosen from anybody who submitted a quilt, anybody who had a chance to submit. There were no votes required. This was completely by random. And we'll go ahead and bring this up. The winner of the $500 cash prize giveaway on this one is in the category of wild imagination and it's called squared up. And this is Alara Siegelin is what I would say. Siegelin, Siegelin I think is what that might say and say congratulations. So nice pretty. job! <laughs> Love the colors. That is just no, it took a awesome. lot of time. It looks like a pretty big quilt as well. How fun! Does it tell anything about it below? And you get to read it, Nathan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Long> <laughs> sentence. <laughs> it says navy blue and aqua aqua scraps with gray. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice job Beautiful. and congratulations! Thanks for turning it. Thanks for letting us see it. Yeah, cool. fun. Thanks. Thanks for submitting it again. Thanks to everybody who's been able to participate with part of this. And again, congratulations, Laura. Okay. Now with that, uh, Lori, I just want to bring this up. Now, I know that this was not an easy thing. There were obviously um, a couple thousand quilts to have to try to view and to go through. So what I'd like you just to briefly share with us is what is some of the thought and the inspiration behind how and why you ended up selecting uh, the particular quilt that you decided to choose for everybody? Well, I, like I, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I had to break it up each night. I would just look at a few and then I'd make some little notes and then I'd, you know, the next morning kind of think, okay, what do I still remember? And so it's kind of that process over, I think it was like 10 days of doing it that way. And then I started showing it to my kids and my grandkids. And the fun thing was one of my granddaughters of all the ones she was looking at, she didn't look at everything, but of all the ones she was looking at, that's the one she also picked. So I told her we're like two peas in a pod and that it helped me to have her say, what about this one, grandma? This is the one I like best. So, um, yeah, so that's what I did is, uh, but I just want to say awesome work and thank you for sharing it. And, and thank you, Grace Company for, you know, uh, providing this outlet for people that are creative and artists. It's artistry is what I think. It's, a, it's artistry that feeds your soul. So thank you. This has been so fun. In fact, been. I think it's better than a quilt show because I get tired <laughs> walking up and down at the quilt shows. And here I can, you know, pull them up. Take your time. Go through. Take my time. Yeah. Ten days of looking at the quilts. It was better than one afternoon. So um, thank you. And uh, this was fun. That's what how I picked it. I, I just at the end of it just had a few that I just kept popping in my mind. And this was one of them. This is and uh, there we go. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Beginning few letters of the name again. Oh, the uh, the person that created the quilt. Her first name is Kristen. So let's hold that for a second. And this was called. Okay, I don't remember the exact title, but it's like this is my second quilt, and I'm. It was like overwhelmed, or I'm just scared about having to quilt it, or something like that. It was a big long sentence about it. Um, but it's going to be beautiful when she finishes. It, it is. It, this is like wow. See, these are. Yeah, my mind just sucked this in, and I love these colors, and my granddaughter, like I said, she said, well, what about this one, Grandma? I said, well, that's the way I was leaning, so, yes. Nice job, Kristen. Nice job. It is beautiful. Love the colors. It just, the way she put it together as a whole is, like I say, it's a, it's a, 
she has an, she's an artist. It's not, uh, yeah, she's an artist, but all these ladies are artists too. This just is the one that I picked and it could have been, I'm sure, um, yeah, this is the one I picked. Thank you for sending it to us. It, says, it inspired me a lot. Second quilt top done quilting scares me to death. Yeah. Kristen Smith, congratulations. <laughs> Way to go. Yeah. <laughs> she said, making this for my son was going to be a Christmas present, and then I tried to quilt it myself. About killed me, Yankee this, <laughs> as um, Yankee this thing through my domestic machine. <laughs> now I'm trying to put um, pull it together, pull together the funds to get a 15R. Congratulations, we're going to help you get there. <laughs> it's beautiful, Kristen. We want to see it quilted. Yes, that will be exciting. Way to go. Yeah. So very much for every all the participants um, who've had a chance to participate and join us for this wonderful quilt festival and this award ceremony. Um, I'm going to encourage you to stay with us again as we continue. And actually coming up here right now, we're going to hear a little bit and get a little of some insight, Carla, from you. She put together a little video on some new ideas and some new processes that she's come up with kind of quilting on the frame. Uh, Carla, before I go ahead and, and put that up, I thought maybe we could get, since you're here with us live, is give us a chance and share with us a little bit about this this theory this concept that's come to you and what some of your excitement is and then we'll watch the video and we'll kind of bring it back to you to share a few more details okay. on this but you know what what can we what, what is and how did you come up with this idea and what does it mean to you um i just um it's not really a necessarily a new idea quilt as you go has been around for a long time it just i've converted it to the quilting frame and it just makes quick easy work and um, the kids who see it they think oh wow i can manage that i can do that i can accomplish that and it's just one entry level way to get kids into quilting or just quilters familiar with the machine with the frame learn and it's just such an easy technique um uh, it just i thought it was fun so uh, in the video i'm showing you how to make my sunset strip quilt <laughs> and and it was just a lot of fun and you could just take strips of fabric and quilt as you go all the way down the frame and you don't have to necessarily um be traditional of going across you can turn them diagonal i in fact i even have a new way that i'm really excited about to show you in the video down the road but it's just fun. So take a look at it and see what you think and um, hope you enjoy it. And if you're a little timid and scared, start trying the strip method. And that's why I called it strip tease because <laughs> it is such a little teasing way of getting you familiar with quilting and with your machine and frame. And then you're not going to be so intimidated to jump in and start on another project. So yeah. And end up with a finished project. And you'll have a, a finished po project. Positive, yeah. A positive. Yeah, yeah, so you'll accomplish it in, wow, really quick time. <laughs>